It's an honor and pleasure to announce this man, the first African American in Linden, New Jersey, not just to be, not just to be mayor, but to be re-elected as the mayor for the next term. I give to you the honor. Hey, bro. Hey, Ross, I just want to say a couple of things before you do. Before I say that? Before you put it, put it before you put the mayor on? Go ahead. First of all, I'd like to say one thing. If anybody could talk about Kyle Smith, we got small. Come here, small. Come here. Come here. If anybody can talk about this brother, it's me. And why I say that is we got a long history. We went to school together. We done a lot of things together. We hung in clubs together. We did it all together. We pushed music together. Someone's like, follow me. Little girl. We got a lot of tools. Go online, check out what's going on. Small doing a lot of things. You heard? So I'm gonna turn it over to the man right now so he can tell you a little bit more about our friend Colin Smith. I can, I can tell you a whole lot more about it. He right across the street from me, little boy. Uh, we call him DJ Small because he was kind of small when he was coming up. But his wife has been feeding him pretty good. Sure has. <laughs> he, he's been anything but small. Uh, and I can tell you this, uh, I watched this guy start out in his basement producing music. And uh, he's really come up with some great stuff. Uh, he's a good brother. He's a good brother, number one. And I'm just happy to be able to stand in front of you all as his mayor. So long before I was his mayor, I was his friend. I was his grandmother's paper boy. His mother's paper yeah. boy. I was there when his daddy came and take, him, take his mother to the hospital and was being born. <laughs> but we, but uh, we go back a long way. And uh, and uh, I think it's safe to say that our, fam our families love each other. That's the most important thing. Our families love each other. And we'll do anything to uplift each other to make sure that Linden is a great place. We'll do anything to make sure that we keep moving this city forward and that we know that Linden can be all that it can be. And I, I tell everybody, I'm here reading a proclamation, but the proclamation is just words. But what I, what I feel in my heart for this man goes far beyond what can be ever written on paper. Okay, Brother Smith, uh, DJ Small, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> there you go. So anyway, if you all want to be bored of me reading this, I'll read it for you. No, those are too long. Okay. Don't, don't do that. It's an accolade, so please read it, sir. It's an accolade. It's written. It's written. It's written. It's written. It's written. It has a whole lot of where I is and who has it and all that stuff in it. Read the first time. It's a, it's a proclamation. Hold on. Just read the first paragraph. <laughs> this is going to take too long. I'm going to say, now therefore we proclaim yes. that I, Derek Armstead, mayor of the city of Linden in the state of New Jersey, on the 30th day of June 2018, do hereby congratulate Kyle Small Smith on that Ladies and gentlemen, family friends. Wait. Ladies and gentlemen, family friends, please give up for Kyle Swarston for you. Let him hold his thing. I'll be with Mr. Michael. This is my running mate, Michelle Yamakaitis. She's going to be our first female council president of the city of London. So we're making history in living here. We got the first African American mayor. Sure is, sure is. Our first female council president is here. Sure is, sure is. We got our first uh, Muslim imam on our council. We got our first Muslim on board of education. We continue to make history in this great city of Linden, New Jersey. God bless you all. Fly it all back in the
brother right here is doing the best he could in living. He's a brother. He's a brother. We got to support him. I don't care what you're doing out here. I mean, you may not like him, but you have to support him. Because somebody is in that seat. Right? You doing, I see a lot of stuff going up here because of you. I respect you. True, true, true. You know what a lot of things. Hey, listen, he gave me my first DJ job too, but he had the little, he had the shack down with it. I was like, I was like, 14. Right. We went back to the shack. So look, music is music, man. I just do what I do. My big bro, Kevin Head, said I'm lazy. And he's right, because Look at this. I don't see no young heads out here. It's no, all us. No, it's all us. It's all us and stuff. You know what I mean? We got to get the young heads involved and stuff so that this music can just keep growing. I remember when, uh, Byron Stingley, Look, Byron Stingley, Byron was one of the ones that we was looking out for. This brother was like, okay, get it. Time. Going, back in the 80s. Time. So we trying to do it again. Save the day. 8-11. 811, we're gonna be in St. Mark's Park. Doing the same thing. And I hope I can get tapped in. And, uh, magic, where he at? Magic right there. Glory. Magic, tap in. Me and St. Mark's Park. We all came from St. Mark's Park. We from Linden. You know what I mean? And we was all in the class together. And all of us. So we're gonna do some 811. Check us out, man. And yo, police, where are uh, Tony at? Tony up here? No. Tony Wilson? Yeah. Where you at, Tony? Oh, Give it up for my brother right there. Yeah, he's a police officer. That's right. We need more of them in our community policing us. All right? We don't need those other people whatever policing us. We need him. You know what I mean? Somebody that know us. I'm gonna be hating on Michelle because she's helping me with, with this 811. He's helping me out with 811. Thank you. I appreciate it. Showtime! Ladies and family friends, we're ready. Yes! Hold up. I'm gonna get in trouble like a mofo. See this one right here? 